Hello there! Did you ever want to create your own Chrome extension using SvelteKit? Well, then you're in the right place. In this video, I will show you the process step by step by following an example of a simple calculator extension. So, get your dev environment ready and let's get started. To develop our very own extension, we will start creating a new SvelteKit project and then adjust it to work as a Chrome extension. We first set up a new SvelteKit project. When it is set up, we will open it in our editor and install the Chrome extension adapter. And if you are using TypeScript, also the Chrome types. Now we make it a Chrome extension by creating a manifest.json file in the static directory. This is one of the most important files as it defines the Chrome extension and its properties. Next, we adjust the adapter in svelte.config.js and also change the application directory. Lastly, we create a layout.ts file with the line export const pre-render so that all pages are statically generated. With that, we have the basic setup down and can start developing it as it would be a normal web app by running pnpm dev. This way we can not run it as an extension yet. For that we have to run pnpm build and install the extension with the following steps. We first open Chrome extensions in the browser. Then we enable the developer mode and load the unpacked extension from the build directory. When this is done, we have to stick the extension to the bar and from then we can easily use it. Developing with PNPM dev has the benefit of it being really fast and supporting hot module reload, just as the normal development of a SvelteKit application. Sadly, that way we cannot use the Chrome extension APIs and we do not really get the feel of a Chrome extension while developing. Therefore, we will now set up Nodemon for the Chrome extension development with auto reload. So let's go. We will start by installing Nodemon and then add a new script to the scripts object in the package.json file. Here we specify uh, the nodemon command and on what files it should reload. After that, we continue developing our extension by running pnpm dev ext. And now you can also use the extension APIs. With the groundwork laid out, let's dive into the exciting part, building the calculator. For that, we open up the page.swelled file. In here, we will first set some styling and for that we add Peacode CSS, my favorite CSS framework for these kind of block projects. Besides Pico, we will also add a popup.css file to specify the size of the pop-up. Then we add the HTML itself by creating a form with a text field and a result paragraph. Before we implement the missing logic, we install the package math.js by running pnpm install math.js. We then create a script tag for the logic and inside of it, we create two variables corresponding to the ones used in the HTML elements. Then we create a select function that selects all the text in the text input just for usability. 
Next, we import math.js and create a calculate function that just reads the text from the input field and runs the evaluate function to evaluate the result. With that, we have a working Chrome extension that can calculate math equations. Sadly, it does not remember what was written when we tap out of the extension. So now we will use the Chrome extension APIs to change that. For that, you first have to check that the manifest.json has the storage permission enabled. We will first change the calculate function to save the result by executing the following set function. Here we set both the equation and the result inside an object. Besides saving it, we also need to load it. We will do that in an onMount function. Here we will first read the stored data and then write them to the variables. So now you can see that both the equation and the result are persisted and the calculator extension is working. Good job. With that, you created your very own Chrome extension using SvelteKit. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Because in the next video, we will try to publish this extension to the Chrome extension store. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And until next time.